Okay guys, just a quick FYI video. Um, if you're installing the Vertex piston for um, a DRZ400 or just in general, the Vertex pistons come with these vague instructions. Um, the two rings, the actual top ring and second ring, usually they have a marking where you could actually tell what direction they're going in. Um, usually the markings would be at top and you know, there's be or there would be a dot that tells you which way to actually set these rings. Unfortunately, Vertex doesn't tell you that in the, in the installation guide. So ring two will actually have writing on it and ring one will actually have no writing or any type of marking, but it'll have a bevel in there. And the bevel should go in the upward position because if you look at the piston itself, you'll see that there's an actual lip inside right here. So that, that ring should go bevel up and it'll fit right in this lip. The directions do not tell you that. Basically what it tells you is to put the first ring with the mark on top and then the secondary ring, but these are incorrect. So I couldn't find anything online. I actually called Vertex Support. They didn't have an answer. Um, and finally I found um, a form on Reddit that showed me, one guy, he did his head and uh, he showed me basically um, how to do it. So, uh, I probably should have known just looking at the piston itself with the lip but you know this is for future rebuilds if you guys are having problems or if you're just looking for information i think it should be out there because the ring installation instructions suck for vertex and this comes with you know the standard bore kit for the drz the big bore kit and um the instructions just are terrible so just remember that piston ring number one has a bevel bevel facing up you can determine that by the actual lip in the piston the uh, ring will fit right in and the bevel will just basically fit perfect on that lip the secondary ring will have a marking or a stamp it will go into upward position and it would be the secondary ring and then for the oil ring this is pretty self-explanatory um, there's no reason to go over this it's basically just your oil ring and then your side rails or your spacers actually. So hope that helps you out. Um, I know that I would have loved to have this information when I got this kit, but um, live and learn. All right, thanks for watching.